Welcome back to another episode of Deja's Disco. I'm Deja and you're watching Deja's Disco. Welcome back. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Welcome back to 2024. I'm about to make a point of joke, so get ready for it. I ain't seen y'all since last year. <laughs> okay. I think it's gonna be my last one of the day. <laughs> But welcome back, y'all. I miss y'all so much. What's been going on? Like I said, I ain't seen it since last year. Listen, whatever is new, I'm interested to hear all about it, okay? Drop it down in the comments and tell me what you've been up to. I wanna know. But as far as me, what have I been up to? I've been, who child, so many things. So I'm actually about to move. If you didn't know, my studio that we're sitting in right now is actually my living room. <laughs> Listen, this break that we took was well needed, okay? I took some time to reflect on what could change, what could be better by Deja's Disco. And honestly, with this move that I'm about to have coming, I think it's perfect time. God know what he'd be doing. So I'm looking forward to all the new places that we'll go and all the new things we'll try. And on the bright side, we won't be confined to a single space anymore. Oh, yeah. We can have time to travel, try new things, meet new people, go new places. Child, the possibilities are endless. And I'm excited. <laughs> Nothing about me and what I've been up to. But so far over the break, I've still been working and dancing at games. And I also took some pictures for Deja's Disco. Ah! I'm especially excited for these pictures that I took because I actually took them. You know how we get down over here, okay? We gonna make it work. I popped my tripod up. I had my little clicker. Let me show it to you. I had my little clicker. Go look in that profile picture right there. It's this cute little picture of me with my hand behind my back. And I think I'm like this with my hand under my chin. And I, like I said, I had my tripod and I had my clicker. So I had to hide my clicker behind my back while I posed. So I was like this. I don't really follow those pictures, okay? And on top of that, I got a chance to redesign my mom's dress from like the 80s, 90s maybe? Okay. I don't know what decade that dress came from, but it was nowhere after 2000, okay? But yes, that was such a fun time. If y'all are interested in the video of how it came all about, I'll link the video in the description of this video. Okay, okay, enough about that. We gotta get into Spanish Sunday. As y'all know, I be getting off track. So, two more things. Before we start the lesson for Spanish Sunday, it's gonna be real good, okay? Spanish Sunday is about to be muy caliente, if y'all know what I mean. I want y'all to go get you a glass of whatever you like to drink, whether it's water, juice, tea, or a shot, whatever it is, I ain't gonna do it. You go get it, and at the end of the episode, we'll take a cheers, and we are gonna have a good time, okay? Normally, I have two glasses here, but I'm in the midst of finding a new glass for myself, like a mug, you know? Like a disco thing mug. I, I got this mug before I got delivered. <laughs> and it says, running on coffee and cuss words. This was when I used to cuss. Sometimes I still be cussing, but I'm so glad I don't cuss anymore. I'm delivered now, and I can't keep drinking out of this cup, because I don't cuss anymore. <laughs> so yes, I want to look out for a disco cup. So if y'all want to help aid me in my search, I'll be more than happy to receive the help. Last thing, my returners who are part of the disco know that at the end of every episode, we take a second to um, share the encouraging word of the week. I like to call it wow. Word of the week. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be a great word, okay? So stick around to the episode. You don't want to miss it. All right, let's get back into it with Duolingo. <laughs> this is it. All right. So this is section one, unit two. Y'all, I just realized this is season two of Spanish Sunday! God is good, girl. Oh my goodness. Okay, section one, unit two. Let's get into it. Get around the city, order food and drink. This is lesson two of five. Right. El hotel. Select the correct image. El hotel. Uh, El hotel. Yeah, the hotel. Let's go. Mi hotel. Translate this sentence. Mi hotel. Me means my. Hotel means hotel. My hotel. <laughs> okay, I got it right. Let's go. Try like this sentence. Donde? Donde? I think donde means where? Yeah. En el taxi. Try like this sentence. En el taxi. What you say? En el taxi. En el taxi. En el taxi. I don't know what N means. I think N means like 
I-N-N. Yep. And then L means the. Yep. Taxi means taxi. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Me reserva. Okay. Translate this in is me res. I like to roll my R's. Me reserva. Me reserva. <laughs> me reserva. My reservation. Talk about it. My reservation. Okay. Y'all know we just playing the guessing game around here. I don't know if I'm getting this stuff right or not. Yo necesito una reserva. Tap what you hear. Yo necesito una reserva. Yo necesito una reserva. Now, I don't know the rest of it. I know yo necesito. That means I need. I don't know what that last one means. Yo. Yo necesito. necesito. One, 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 one more time. Yo necesito una reserva. Una reserva. Una is one. Una. I need a. Reserva. Reserva means reservation. So I need a reservation. Reserva. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's fun playing the guessing game. Okay. Yo tengo una maleta. Translate this sentence. Yo tengo una maleta. Um, I tengo have una a Maleta. I know maleta means suitcase. You got. Yo tengo una maleta. I have a suitcase. Now this is fun. I'm having a good time. Okay, complete the sentence. Yo tengo una reserva en el. This picture says hotel. So they just kind of gave it to me with that. Hotel. I like it. It's easy. Okay. You're doing okay. great. Yo tengo un pasaporte. Yo tengo un pasaporte. Yo tengo. I tengo. Have. Huh? Yo tengo. A. Yo tengo un pasaporte. Yo tengo un A. A means un A. Got it. Passport. I know that's Pasaport. right. Let's go. El taxi está aquí. Translate this sentence. El taxi. Translate this sentence. El taxi está aquí. El. You can do it. Wait a minute. El taxi. Taxi. <laughs> Esta, I don't know what esta means. Um, the taxi, I know aquí means here. Oh, so esta, el taxi, esta is here. The taxi is here. Is here. Woo! Get her done. I would have got something wrong by now. Y'all know how I do. Okay. <laughs> how do you say it is? Esta, I just learned it. Esta. Esta. Uh huh. Okay. Woo. Tap the matching pairs. Girl, niña, niña. Boy, niño. Niño. Where? Donde? Donde? Milk, leche. Leche. Phone, telephone. How did you telephone. get so smart? Let's go. How do you say here? Aquí. Aquí. Aquí, 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 aquí. Aquí, aquí, aquí. aquí. I like my shirt. Yeah. Ah. Okay, stay close. Ah. Okay. Tap the matching pairs. In. Is N E N N. Uh huh. Man is hombre. Hombre. Okay. He is el. El. Yeah. Boy is niño. Niño. Suitcase is my maleta. Yo okay. Okay. Tap the matching pair. This is the last one, y'all. Please, por favor. Por favor. Man, hombre. Hombre. Here, aquí. Aquí. I, yo. Yo. I am. Soy. Soy. Ah! Yeah! Oh my goodness, we did it! Yeah! I mean, we did so much fun. Woo! Yes! Got my heart racing. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah! And then I tell you to get your glass, okay? Because we was going to celebrate today. Just a great first episode and a good first episode of the year. Wow! Ah! Cheers! I kinda like it a little bit. This is that tangerine tea from Yogi. Oh yeah, y'all know Yogi be having they be coming through with the words. This ain't the wow, the word of the week. I see what but you get there. Yogi be coming through with the words on the tea tags. So this one says. Know that you are a child of the universe. Okay? 
Now, I believe in the Lord. I'm just saying, know that I'm a child of God. So thank you, Yogi. Love you. Child, whatever you believe in, know that you're a child of who you believe in. And if you say you believe in them, believe in them. All right, it's time for our favorite part of the episode. purpose of the word of the week is to just help bring some sunshine to your life and to your week just by using one single word. This word can come from stories that um, I've experienced or that I've heard friends experience or that God has, you know, literally dropped this word inside of me and it's my duty to share it to you. So without further ado, the word of this week is believe. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Don't mind if I do. So one of my friends asked me for some advice on what they think that they should do with this particular dream that they have kind of been hesitant on pursuing. Even though that pursuing this dream could help their family save money and get more money, it could be beneficial, but they recognize that with starting something new, there's always that chance of risk. They just wanted a little help trying to decide if they should pursue a dream that could potentially help them or um, just continue to stay with doing what they're doing, even though it's not making them happy. That this dream is something that they like to do. Matter of fact, they love to do it. They know how to do it, and they're sure they're gonna make them money, but that risk is just really holding them back. As I was listening to them talk, I was just thinking to myself, like, wow, this kind of used to be me a couple years ago. For those that don't know my story, I'm always taking big risks. It's Deja's Disco. But before Deja's Disco, my only dream was to own my salon. I went to cosmetology school and high school. I graduated college with my bachelor's in management. I got managerial experience. And right up to the point where it was time for me to start my salon, I started my salon. I had a good run for nine months. Had great clients, had a great marketing system. Things were going great. I did everything that I wanted to do to start this dream. And yet, once I got in it, I was unhappy. Now imagine if I never started my dream at all. Even though it was kind of making me happy, it wasn't what I thought it would be. In my personal story, I'm glad that I went ahead and took that risk and started my salon. Even though it was a small version of it, it wasn't on a big scale like I thought I wanted. I'm glad that I didn't get the big version of what I wanted at that time because I wasn't ready for that. And plus, I didn't know that that wasn't going to be my forever dream because things change, if you know what I mean. But to make a long story short, the word of the week is believe because I want to make sure that you are encouraged to always believe in yourself. Like my friend said, they knew exactly what they were doing. They're knowledgeable in this dream. They know that it'll make them money. Knowing how to do it, loving what you do, and knowing that it'll make you money is more than what you need to start this dream. No matter where this dream takes you, believe in yourself. That feeling is inside of you for a reason. And listen, you know what they say, dogs don't bark in parked cars. <laughs> listen, I tested this theory one day myself. I was driving down this neighborhood and it was a dog running up down the fence. And as I'm driving down the street, this dog is running along the fence trying to bark and chasing my car. And I said, hmm, let me test this theory. So I stopped and I stared at that dog down. So you looking at me? I'm looking at him, and we just have to stare down for about 10 seconds. I'm like, okay, so they don't bark at parked cars. So then finally I started moving, and then he just went ham. <laughs> so yes, the saying is true. Dogs don't bark at parked cars. And that just seems to me that they wouldn't chase you if you ain't had nothing great inside of you. So yes, believe in yourself. It starts with you. All right, y'all, this has been a great episode of Deja's Disco. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. To my newcomers, welcome. I'm so glad you stayed to the end of the episode. Thank you so much for coming. And to my returns, thank you for returning. <laughs> if you're new to this though and you like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit those post notifications so you don't miss a beat right here on the disco. All right, y'all, this has been a fantastic episode. Thank you so much for tuning in with me yet again. I love you so much. I hope you have a phenomenal day and a phenomenal week. Me personally, I don't want to play an answer. Me personally.
personally. I'm especially excited. I'm especially, especially. I'm especially excited. For so yes, the saying is true. Dogs don't park. What? Dogs don't park. Excuse me.